Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Uh, let's crack into another one. TNT, here Yo. you got something for me again. We do, Jonas. are taking away one of America's most used apps. They're take, yeah. They're taking that TikTok away that from only you. The OnlyFans app? Oh, they, they need to take that shit away. Don't even get me started, Jonas. We can... Whoa, whoa. We could do a whole nother just, episode. Did an OF that. girl do you wrong or something? Bro, no. I just, you know, I just think it's not good for America. Anyway, they're taking TikTok away, which I also don't think is really like the best app out there for everybody. But you know what? No, there's a, I've never downloaded it. Yeah. Because I know that I would use it all the time. And see, I Reddit did, already sucks my time up enough. Yeah. And it's like, at least Reddit makes me read. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I'm do, I feel like I'm doing something other than just like staring at like. I don't know. A minute long video. Yeah, minute long videos for an hour and a half. This is insane. Anyway, uh, it, the House Energy and Commerce Committee, led by uh, Chair Kathy Mc, McMorris Rogers, so she Republican, sounds like a Karen, don't she? A Republican from Washington. Doesn't that just sound like a Karen? Like she's from she's just Kathy like, McMorris Rogers, dude. I saw a video the other day where this lady was yelling at a guy because he had a happy meal outside of McDonald's. Mm. He was like, he was like, she's like, you don't have any kids? And he's like, what, do you, what is your problem? I'm just going to eat a happy meal. She's like, I see what you're doing out here. And he's like, why don't you leave me alone? And she's like, why you got a happy meal with no kids? And I was like, what the hell is wrong with the world? She's like, I'm neighborhood watch. We're watching you. We're watching you, buddy. Yeah, anyways. So, uh, that's still, Karen McCarron right. in there. There is a, they passed a bipartisan bill on Thursday. That was his, uh, I don't, what day was that, Jonas? Not long ago, a couple days ago. Anyway, uh, that, that could uh, force ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, to sell the video sharing platform or face a ban in the United States. That sounds very um, Cold War-ish. Now, if the bills pass, Jonas, they have. Uh, what do you mean? It sounds Cold War-ish. Cold War-ish. They're like they're playing China's hand without doing anything. Like they're they're just making a law that like they're like, oh, you have a successful business that Americans are using. Well, sell it, or we're not going to let our Americans use it anymore. Yeah, you know, I believe that the whole problem that they had was that they were gathering information. And they felt like the uh, the the uh, types of videos that are being skewed towards Americans, they were using a different algorithm than what they were necessarily using in China. Like, if you were to look at the average teenage Americans TikTok, you're going to see videos about dancing and videos of people doing pranks and just like everybody just trying to become like a, a YouTube streamer or a Twitch streamer or something of that nature. Whereas if you looked at a, a Chinese child's TikTok, you're going to see stuff about like uh, uh, patriotism or about getting education or educational materials. And it's just, it seems very skewed. So that was the whole They're trying to make Americans dumber and keep their own people more homelandy. Or no. they're trying to s breed information, misinformation about like the election and COVID and yada, yada, yada. And so the best wars, Jonas, are won without ever firing a bullet. Um, after after wars are fought, you see a lot of these countries, a lot of the people that reside in them, they go through uh, like drug addiction. Yeah, and I feel like like a lot of the misinformation that has been spread so far is even having a lot of a uh, a lot of effect on American life as it is now. But essentially, that's why they want to get rid of uh, TikTok is because of that. But uh, if this bill passed and it has not passed yet, Jonas, you were telling me that they have what like. They have to it sell said like within... five months, I think. Like they had the, it said, uh, it says, let's see here. It says they have uh, five months if it's approved uh -huh. Uh -huh. to, or the or the the app stores will ban it. And it says it also goes to be any other app that's like uh, at, for, controlled by foreign adversaries like Russia, China, Iran, or North Korea. Yeah, I I actually think that's probably a good idea. Um, well, that's what like, dude, like, like all the time. It's really interesting. Like, say, like, like the, all those games you see mobile ads for. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, oh, like the one where you're like, where you're running down a thing, and you have to like times two your guys at minus three. You're pick up a machine gun, and all the yeah, hordes are coming at you. If you, you eat and stuff. cake, the girl gets fat. If you eat the yeah. salad, she gets skinny. Yeah, whatever. Like, if you ever go to like the app store and look at those games, it'll be like ten million downloads, and then like all like all the reviews are really weird and like. I feel like those are just like 
Russian or Chinese companies Russian just like mine bots. Just 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 spyware. Uh, just tracking. Yeah. Cause like you agreed all the like some of those cell phone games have they have so much they have so much access to your phone. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, you're playing a funny game, but they're just data tracking you like and that's, that's kind of what tiktok is and if they can and not only are they getting that information but they're finding out what you like and they're finding out all the bad your political stuff. affiliations your yeah what and what if, wormholes you, you go and down. if you like candy they're gonna keep feeding you candy you know keep it you tastes just like candy so on tiktok they uh tiktok has uh actually had some official posts where they're saying is that the american government is trying to take away uh Hundreds of millions of Americans uh, freedom to free speech by banning TikTok. Oh, that's what TikTok's saying? That's well, of course China's doing that. The, the, the most non-democratic country in the world. <laughs> I know, Talking about right? pulling away people. They block their internet and shit. That right there tells you that they know how to, how to game us a little bit. They're, they know how to riz us up, man. Oh, they do. They're spitting, they're spitting riz at us, and that's that's perfectly fine. They they want us to uh they want us to bite the bullet, but well they want to cause an uproar here, so we like. But here here's the other part, man. Uh, unless they can prove it's a national security threat, mm. they should not ban it. Uh, I think that for it to get to this point, they have to have. Well, they like, already let government officials not put it on their cell phones. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, there's a reason for that. Exactly. I, like, look, I know is that we all have this idea is that they're out of touch. And in a lot of ways, that is very true. Um, but I feel like if there's a reason that they they're feeling that they need to ban it, there might be a reason for it. I don't know. I'm not a am not a TikTok addict, so it's hard for me to talk. I know other people are just like, put that shit in my veins. I need my talk tonight. I need a cigarette. I need a talk and I need a cigarette a and a talk. I, I'm not even going to be fulfilled. <laughs> right. So I don't know, man. I, you know, I, I hope we can come to a consensus. Maybe bite dance will sell. I mean, Biden said he'd sign it. If it went, if it passed bipartisan, man, we both sides want this. If you get, if you get both sides to agree on anything, did you see where they had, uh, where they were asking the guy what what type of Chinese is he or some stuff. I don't remember Jonas. Oh my god, dude. What the hell? Oh they Who was a, asking him? I think they have I can't remember, man. See, it's it's bad when I when I bring stuff up. When you bring up hear. something racist and don't have it a backing behind it. Yeah, yeah. It sounded bad too, right? It really no, did. It was I'll... when uh the, what do you call it? The house the house of representatives yeah, they yeah. were talking to one of the uh I think it was one of the guys who was the head of Bite Dance, and they had him come, and they were talking to him, and he was like, "I'm Korean," and they were like, oh, "What part of China are you from?" He's like, "I'm from Korea." And he's like, "And where is that in China?" Or something? I don't oh know. God. I don't know. So I mean, I was just trying to lend to the fact that they're out of touch. Oh, everybody they, they, in the government's out of touch. Yeah, it's 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 kind of sad that this country is being led by. By people who are in that cohort, man. I don't even know what the hell's happening. Yeah. Like, I feel like you should be, like, age 30 to 45, maybe 50, and then you got to get your ass out of the government. Oh, yeah. See, I can see 30 because you've already had your 20s, and by the time you hit 30, you're mature. All right? Eh. You you run the country, uh, you run the country aged by then, at least mentally. No, I think that, I think, I agree with you, but... I think it should be like you can't be older than what retirement age is. So like sixty five, even at nah. that, even at that you're at the top end. But like at that, I said fifty. <laughs> I said fifty. So. Yeah, people are still irrational when they're that young, though. Yeah. But being, but regardless, being 75, 80 years old, trying to like make laws for a country that like you don't even know what the hell the average person's doing. Like you and all your friends go to bed at four p.m. Yeah. yeah. Like you don't know what anybody's doing at night. I think 30 to 50, that 20 year sweet spot where you're like, that's your peak maturity. 40 to age. 60, I think, is what you mean. 40? 30 oh, no, I meant, I, meant, I meant 30 to 50. Yo, that's, that's what, what you said. I said 40 to 60 because 30, man, people is dumb. 30? At 30, you should be, you should have your shits together a little bit. Yeah, but to run a god in the most powerful yeah. country in the world? Yeah. How, mm. well, how old do you have to be to be president right now? Is it 35? 35, I think, 35? yeah. 35? Yeah. Ain't no one ever been that close. JFK. Yeah, he was pretty cool. And what happened to him? Wow. 
Yeah. You the, tell me that the only your, young they, person to they ever sh- be in president. They shooting they shooting the young younglings out here? Let me look up real quick. Youngest presidents ever. Let me check. Let me check. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I, I honestly didn't see a problem with thirty, but I mean look, thirty five is kind it's kinda nuts that that's the that's the number that they went with. I wonder if there's something behind that. Um Did they just think that like you were too crazy under the age, age of thirty five? So maybe thirty-five to fifty-five, if we oh, were to stick on. to stick to tradition, I guess would be a pretty good thirty-five to fifty-five. I could see. I still feel like that twenty-year sweet spot, and then you got to get the hell up out of here, though. After fifty-five, you got to leave. All right, we don't need any more seventy, eighty-year-olds trying to run the country. Your Geritol's kicking in. You can't climb steps. You can't Geritol. Like if you, if people are questioning your your uh... nah, that's that's cap too. All right, so, name. okay, hold on. I'll That's do the cap. top. That's cap, too. I just don't, I don't buy the fact that, like, all of this mental health bullshit that they're trying to push on, on, on both presidents, man. It's like, yeah, you speak enough, man. You're going to have some times where you F up your words. Yeah. I believe me. Me and Jonas, we speak on a podcast all the time. We F up words all the time. Constantly, got, and I'm old. Right? You got what you're looking for there? Yeah, yeah Obama was 47. Okay. Uh, Ulysses S. Grant was 46. Okay. Clinton was 46. Okay. John F. Kennedy was 43. Okay. Theodore Roosevelt was 42. Th- Theodore, Theodore Roosevelt. Three. <laughs> Three door oh, Roosevelt. The 10, Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> so Teddy mean. Roosevelt, Kennedy, Clinton, Grant, Obama. Yeah, were the, so, but, but if you look at that, Clinton had the scandal. He was in there just slamming it. What does that mean? He was 40, man. What what can you say? You're too young at 40 where you're just like, oh, my God, I'm 40. I've got to start fucking everything. Bro, you got to hear yourself out, man. Look, we're going to fuck regardless, all right? That's we're guides. You give us a, a position of power where we get some groupies. Yeah, guess what? I'm effing my group. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> TNT for president 2024. You vote for me. I'm guaranteed to F you. <laughs> wow. All right? That's what I'm saying. I'm putting it out there. That's a lot of slanging. I'm guaranteed to F you. Jesus Christ. What? All Guaranteed. Right. All right. Like it or He's not, TNT Dynamite like 2024. That. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.